Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam here with a review of a wonderful vintage horn. This is the Con 22B from 1955. And this particular horn I've taken very strong care of that I did not remove any of the remaining lacquer. So, within the bell and along most of the bell flare, at least the bottom part, you've got the original lacquer. The rest of it is naturally worn by a wonderful man, the sole and original owner, who sold it to me just a few months ago. Excellent horn, and I think I've had most of the different models of the Con 22B. I've had them from as early as 26, I think it was, and then I've had them up through the 60s. Uh, this one, unusually, has got, I think, perhaps the best compression of any of them that I've had. It does have some dings to it. The man played it in high school, and uh, there's a little bit of dentage here. Don't think anything that would affect the tone. Some dents, of course, around the crook of the bell. Uh, just various dings, but uh, really an excellent horn. The thing that helps this one, you can hit the road if you want. The things that help this one so much is I've got the original case, and I've got a Rudy Muck mouthpiece. So you've kind of got the trifecta case, horn, mouthpiece, all from the same area. Strangely enough, I'm going to be playing this horn with a Jet Tone Symphony Model C, which I really, really like. Um, at any rate, nice horn. You've got a little nickel silver in areas that count. Uh, just a little ornamentation there along the slides as well. Very, very pretty, pretty horn. Those of you that have seen my videos before, I love talking about horns. I love having horns, and I've had more than my share. But uh, when it comes to playing, eh, the jury's out there. I'll try and give you an idea what this horn sounds like, but I am having fits with my lip. Give me just a minute to hold a long tone and uh, try and warm up, and you can enjoy the tone of the trumpet as well. The C scale and the F scale. See if anybody recognizes this tune, and I shouldn't tell you what it's from. In fact, I probably won't. Um, and just see if anybody recognizes it. If you weren't born before 1970, you probably won't recognize it. I'll give you that, that little hint there. It's from a TV show. <laughs> All right. That was with the uh, Jet Tone Symphony Model C, and I'm told that the creator, when he called that the Symphony Model, was a dig at the uh, deeper cupped mouthpieces. He preferred something a little more lively, but that is a tremendous mouthpiece. Uh, what I call a dual cup, very wide throat, and... Um, so you can get a hearty sound out of it, but you can really get some zing as well. This is with another mouthpiece that I really like. I've been using it a lot recently. It's Trent Austin's TATF Trumpet Flugel mouthpiece. Not nearly the large 
uh, throat of a lot of trumpet flugels, which is why I like it better. Extremely usable mouthpiece, but definitely more of a mellow tone. simply says, I need thee, oh, I need thee. What a prayer. Hope you have a great day, folks. Hope your year is going well, and until our next video rolls around, farewell.